Frisk out, Uncle in the Frisk out. I gotta keep a bad little bitch with a pistol. Correct call from. Jason Mathis Senior, Jason Mathis Senior. An inmate at Nevada Department of Corrections, Northern Nevada Correctional Center. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept charges, press 1. To refuse charges, press 2. If you would thank you for using Securus, you may start the conversation now. I mean, the line wasn't that long for a boss, man. I was so able to jump back up in this motherfucker and get back to the phone, man. Alrighty, well, we lost you there for a second, but we're back on. So now yeah. you were just um, finishing up your talk about, you know, what your um, uh, plans were when you're free. And you had mentioned that, you know, you're all about the money. You're just all you're going to focus on. And you're going to get it the right way. Do you have any um, do you have anything in mind of how you're going to be, uh, you know, what what are some er type? What are some ways that you'll be focusing on money? Oh, the way I'm going to be focusing on money, you have entertainment for one. I'm definitely into that industry very tough. So you have, you know, that, that medium, you have the, uh, uh, you know, you know, like a, a music part of the medium, you have visual part of the medium, um, you know, touring shows, different things like that. You know, you have a bunch of young talent that's available out here. Construction, construction for two. Uh, my father, my father did construction all my whole life. So um, I guess I, I'm, I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to be focused on that. Uh, 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 my brother, my brother just got a construction uh, company license in San Francisco, and the homie Sleep, he, he got the plumbing shit going on in the city, you know what I'm saying, it's a black mayor San Francisco right now, one degree, it's, a bu it's, it's just a bunch of legit opportunities open, All right. and, you know, real estate, yeah, real estate is a third, mm -hmm. you can never go wrong with, with, with residential or commercial real estate, wow, you know wow, so you have it all planned you know, out, yeah, yeah, it's all available. But the same, the same shit, that, the same shit that these other races really be liking. Black street dudes about all mm -hmm. that shit is marketable for product to attain the legit money. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm no, absolutely. Yep. Well, um, another question I have is in mind is, um, you know, JT uh, attempted to expose people that have a history of pimping. Um, where do you stand on that topic? Hey, man. Um, you know, I stand. You know, I, I, you know, I've been in the game, man, for many, many more. So, you know, what I'm saying, you know, my out, my my out, my outlook on that is my outlook on that is gonna be way different from that man. You know, what I'm saying, he got his opinion and his outlook, and this got the other man. You feel me? I, you know, I'm really not square, so I can't really, you know, I really can't think like that. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I really can't think like that. You know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, I, I do, I do know some good. I do, do know some real, real, real good peas out there. You know, saying some good, some good, some some, some good hoes. So. Yep, yep. And you know, he also mentioned about how you know rappers fil filthy rich and forty keys have babies by prostitutes. Um, would you say that JT is just like hating on that and like trying to create a buzz for his traffics, or what do you think um, is the reasoning behind of why he's talking like that? Hey man, I don't know why they niggas saying no shit like that though. Man, he talking about he talking about filthy and keys. Man, I mean shit. These niggas run around this motherfucker having babies by these bitches that ain't got the motherfucking two tiny nickels. To, to rub together and all this other type of shit, man. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Niggas, be, niggas pulling babies about the bitches giving niggas five, ten thousand, twenty five hundred, fifteen hundred dollars a day on a regular. So you know what I mean? I mean, shit, goddamn. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know, I don't know what, I don't know what that man on. You know, shit, shit be happening in this game. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, shit. Do you think? But, uh, you um, know, far, well, do you think? Promoting his product or whatnot. I really, I really, I really, I really, uh. I, I really don't. I really don't know uh, if it's just a promotional plea or it's just uh, you know yeah. the way the, the way they check out the outlook on people. No, absolutely, I understand. And do you think that pimping and prostitution will ever come to an end? Do I think it ought to come to an end, or it will come to an end? Do you think it will come to an end, like ever come to an end? It can never come to. It can. It can. It, it can never come to an end. It can. It can. It can. It can really never come to an end because you got motherfuckers that really got the game. You know what I'm saying? That's you know what I'm saying. That's really that's really gonna use their mouthpiece, they looks, and all the other type of shit to really to really get ahead. You feel me? Um, you know what I'm saying? The, the, you know the cat gonna get ahead. You feel me? And the female gonna get ahead. But you do got some people that be putting black eyes in the game. You know, hella slash shit going on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that that's not that that's not really mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, I, but yeah, you know, so I'm just doing years, for I like the showbiz. I was a professional. Yeah, exactly. For many years, I was professional pimp. You know what I'm saying? No slash involved. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? You know, really fucking with hoes, really checking traps, really staying on top of my game. You feel me? Really putting my, really putting my money back into mm, my work oh, that wow. I got. Yeah, exactly. Oh, a lot of okay. Cats, they not, they not pimping. So it's gonna be the, it's gonna be the, the sexual deviancy. It's gonna be the violence, and you know, it's gonna be all the square shit that 
that that that that make these laws that make these people crack down on people in the game. You know? mm -hmm. As as a as a previous pimp, um, you say, do you can, are you able to tell the difference of when when someone's just faking it for like entertainment versus like a real one? Oh, definitely for, for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, you can definitely tell that. Yeah, because you know, someone like me will never be able to tell. Well, see, you know, I wouldn't be telling though. I ain't gonna lie. I'm so I've been going back with this shit so far. You know, I wouldn't be telling now. Like, look, if I sit back and I'm and, and I'm sitting and I'm sitting back with a motherfucker, I'll be like, and a motherfucker be like, oh man, the whole bitch. I be really knowing niggas be square and don't really fully be pimping because real pimps gonna be like the bitch or my game or uh, the mm -hmm. hoe. You feel me? Because mm -hmm. you know the female just, just really stood up tall and stayed in pocket and um, she just stayed in pocket and really just serious about her hoe and to even be called a hoe. The same way that a pimp had, you know, stayed down for his round and pimped accordingly and followed all the rules of the game to even be called the pimp. You dig what I'm saying? Like all these bitches in the shake joints and, and all this other shit going on. If they not saying no, no professional pimping, they're not hoes. They're not, no, they're not, you know what I'm saying? They not in the game. They oh. really still too clear. Okay, okay. You know, you did mention entertainment earlier, um, and I was listening to um, Prezi's uh, song, and you were actually in the intro and outro of it. How did that come about? Oh, oh, uh, 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 well, Prezi, man, that's the young homie brother from the block, man. You feel me? That's the love one right there. You feel me? Um, shit, when, um, shit, when Reg was putting all that, when Reg was putting all that shit together, when T-Fats and all that was out, you know, I'll be calling back to the house every day, talking to the homies. So, you feel me? That shit, that shit came about... It's like from the ground, from the ground, ground, ground roots of this shit. You feel me? Oh, um, wow. Yeah, that's that shit. Yeah, that shit came from the ground, ground roots of okay. this shit. And I, it's crazy. I had just did eight years in Ely in a maximum security prison, twenty three and one for like eight years when I when I first came to the joint due to my sentence structure. I had to be in a maximum security prison, and they had just transferred me down to High Desert, but I was still in the hole. So I was, I was just, just based on my sentence structure. I was in the hole. Ain't had no write ups or nothing. And uh, you feel me? That was one of them nights, man. I call, I, 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 I call fast, man. You feel me? Everybody was up over there, man. The studio, you know. What I'm saying? Oh wow! That shit, man. Yeah, and that shit came together for sure. Okay, okay, wow. Well, that was that's a that was a cool song actually. And so, um, thank you, thank you. you know, some of to kind of uh, wrap it up. What is one advice you would like to give to a convicted felon that's free to avoid going back to jail? The advice I would give to a convicted, to a convicted felon that's just getting out of prison to stay free, you have to have your discipline program before you even get out of prison. You have to have a certain time you waking up in the morning. You got to have certain routines that positive people and professional people that are successful do. Um, well, a good, a good advice that I will specifically give is working out. I do a lot of cardio working out, a lot of burpees wow. daily. You know, saying an hour worth of burpees. So you know, um, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, you know, you might tell the homies, come work out with you or a few people you affiliate with. You know what I'm saying? They might do it for the first day or two, three days, four or five days. Then they start making excuses. Wow. Oh, it's my birthday. Oh, no, it's my for day sure, off. Oh, sure. this and that other. I'll so start on Monday. The famous one. Yeah. <laughs> When you still go on about your routine and other people aren't aren't and other people aren't following what they said what they were, it kinda shows you that a lot of people aren't disciplined and focused. Wow, discipline you're right, you're the, right. Yeah, discipline is the key to success. Wow. Without being disciplined, now you're talking. Yeah. No, absolutely. People People do things for three or four days or whatnot, but once it becomes routine and the excitement is gone and the discipline has to kick in, that's when a lot of people abort shit and start doing other type of shit. You know what I'm saying? So you have to stay disciplined. You got to come home, get you a gig out the gate. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Get on top of your finances. Get your driver's license the first day. Yeah. First day. First few days. Get your L's. Get right. You know, don't don't be, don't be dependent on people that's already trustworthy. Yeah, get your tools together so you can move around and handle your business on your time. Yep, yep. No, absolutely. And um, absolutely. is there also is there something you would want to do um, with the youth when you're back? Yeah, it's definitely some shit I want to do with the youth. Well, I, I, I'm about to put some shit together right now. I got two kids, little Jason and, and, and my daughter, my son. They both 16 years old, and I'm, and oh, I'm seeing wow. the difficulties okay. that they. Yeah, I see the difficulties that they that they going through by not even having their father around. So I'm definitely trying to. Um, I'm definitely about to put some shit together in San Francisco for children of incarcerated parents, children that um you know on the verge of uh, joining gangs with gang violence. You, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? Um. 
get, you know, a, a group home kids, foster home kids, and all that type of shit. You feel me? Uh, you know, give a shout out to Rudy with the United with the United Players Bank uh, 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 in downtown San Francisco. He mm-hmm. definitely wow. already uh, That's put great. the template together for a person to follow in other communities mm-hmm. in San Francisco to uh, to associate with some shit. And those oh. kids really need those kids really need mentors that yeah, are like absolutely. four or five years absolutely. older than them in their same age group that's showing them how to handle their business and do positive things. Yep, yep, absolutely. And really get their really really money and stay disciplined. Yep. Well, I just want to thank you beforehand, you know, for even um, coming up with that because I see a lot of people that come out of prison and they go back to doing the same things that we're doing. And, you know, it's really nice to hear from someone who's already in prison and just wants to come out and, you know, be a completely different person. Yeah, definitely. But addiction plays a big role in that. A lot of these niggas be on dope. A lot of these niggas be on beat. Since wow. I've been down, yep. Motherfuckers really was fucking with that shit like that. These niggas are really on methamphetamine, man. And on opiates, man. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Here around the So, yeah, these cats can't survive their society because they going home and they fucking with them drugs. They fucking with them that dope. You know oh. what I'm saying? They fucking with these white men. They fucking with these white men's drugs, man. They fucking with methamphetamine shit. That shit ain't made for no, that shit ain't made for no uh-huh. black, for no melanin in their skin or whatnot, no shit like that. They fucking with some shit that ain't even natural. Yep, so, yep. They, they damn well, yeah, they damn well losing their mind, staying up three, four days, ain't getting no sleep. Your body repairs itself when it sleeps. So, you know, these cats, these cats are, you know, doing shit, man, halfway crazy. Wow, wow. Well, you know, to wrap it all up, um, is there anybody who you would like to give a shout out to? And for what for? Man, hey, listen, man. I, hey, man, listen, man. I gotta give a shout out to all my niggas, man. You feel me? For real, for real. Everybody know who they is, man. The whole community, man, that supported me since I've been down, man. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really touching out coast to coast, man, daily, man, from the Bay down to Miami, up to New York, man. You feel me? A few spots, Midwest, and all that on a daily basis. You know what I'm saying? So as a whole, you know what I'm saying? We, you know, it ain't necessary about no shout, no shout, shout, no one names out and all that, man. As a community, as a whole, as blacks, man. You feel me? Niggas is really getting some money up around this motherfucker. It's time to really, it's time to really touch this money, man, and, and keep this money going. Yeah. Not just, not just, not just make this shit happen, but make it thrive once the institution is already up and running. Yep. Well, you know, Jason, I really appreciate you sharing your story with me, and um, that was a wrap. You know, you did great. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you guys. I can fly.